What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video back with another Dokkan battle video. So the Tana Bata celebration on JP has officially begun and just like I do with all the global campaigns, in today's video we are going to be going over everything this new campaign on JP has to offer. And I gotta say, there is a lot of good stuff man, this is probably one of the best campaigns we've seen in a while. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the news here and uh, see what's up. So I believe this is the main news tab. Now, just to be clear, I can't read Japanese, but I do know mostly what's going on. Okay, so usually when we start these, I would read, you know, the little, I guess, intro or just these like lines here, but I don't know what they say, so we're gonna skip that. And the first thing we have here is a login bonus, pretty standard, get some stones. Get some Kai's, and in this case, get some Wish Strips, so that's nice. And then next up, we have some missions, both daily as well as time limited. And number three, we have the Dokkan Fest banner for LR Goku and Vegeta. It looks like they do start as Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. And the only other thing I believe we know about the banner is that there is going to be the new Krillin. And also, Fizz Beerus is coming back to JP. But otherwise, I don't think there are any other details about this banner. It does say that it starts on the 30th, as with most of these things. So, uh, I'll be, I believe that'll be tomorrow. Or actually, if they're going by JP time, then maybe it's a little bit earlier than that. It might be in a couple hours. I don't really know. I don't know what the conversion is, but it should be soon. All right. So, by the time this video comes out, the banner might already be live. And what we can see here is that there is going to be Goku and Vegeta, obviously, and then Krillin and Beerus. Actually, is the banner live already? Let, let me just check. I don't want to make a fool of myself. Okay, it's not. It's not. We're good. All right, let's go back. <laughs> It'd be funny if I was, like, talking about, like, speculations, right? And the banner's already out. Like, that'd be dumb. But, uh, yeah, so we have this banner, and then a week later, the uh, Tanabata banner will drop. And obviously, this is a thing every single year where the new unit will also be available on this Tanabata banner, and then they bring back the LRs from the anniversary that year. So in this case, it's the five year anniversaries, LR Blue Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue. And it does say there's gonna be four LRs on this banner. So I think it might be LR Gobros. That's the fourth. Um, that would make the most sense in my opinion, but it could just throw us a curveball, maybe include LR Gohan instead or LR Cell. Which I don't know how many people will be happy about that, but there is going to be a fourth LR either way. Probably Go Bros, but we'll see. And uh, obviously the rest of like the Dokkan Fest units in the game will also be on that banner. So even though there's a bunch of LRs and like, you know, amazing LRs, um, the, 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 the pool is going to be very saturated, right? So that's why when it comes to summoning on these banners, I'm always a little bit hesitant to recommend it because even though you know, they're there, and you have a chance to pull them, the rates are quite low considering how many featured units there's gonna be. I think it's, I forgot how many it usually is, like at least a couple of 30, like, I don't know, 40? How many were featured before? I forgot, but there were a lot of featured units, I can tell you that, so um, definitely keep that in mind if you plan to summon in this banner. And uh, we also have a category we summon, I don't really care. I tell everybody to skip any and all category banners, so we're not even going to waste any more time on that. And then we have a Elder Kai banner, that's a regular thing now. And we have some stone sales, doesn't really say what the stone sales are, it's kind of weird that JP actually doesn't list the stone sales on global, they always list exactly what the sales are going to be in the news. So I don't know why JP doesn't do that, but there is a stone sale, there you go. And we have the return of the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign, man, we haven't seen one in Forever, man. What was the last one? Was it last year? Last Tanabata? It might have been. It might have been a year since we saw a Purunga campaign. So the way this works is, if you guys didn't know, there's going to be one new clue every day to collect a new Dragon Ball. And once you collect all seven over the course of seven days, then you can summon Purunga and make your wishes for a bunch of good stuff. Like a ton of orbs, ton of Kais, um, you know, incredible gems, training items, support items, so on and so forth. Uh, I will be making a separate video, or maybe multiple separate videos, talking about how to get each of these Dragon Balls as we make our way you know, through the week, so uh, stay tuned for that, stay tuned for that. And then next up we have the Wish Trips, so these ones 
are for exchanging for a pool of 77 units in the Baba Shop. I haven't seen actually what the units are, but um, you know, it's free units, right? Free, free tickets to exchange for free units, which is always nice. And uh, you know, the way we usually get these is either through missions or through logins. I think Perunga can give a few as well if you choose that wish. So uh, we'll talk about that in a second. All right. If I mean, if there's a tab for. I don't think there. Oh, never mind. Okay, so maybe we'll talk about it later when we get more information. But we do have wish strips. That's good. And what else? What else? Um. Okay, so Dokkan event, of course, for the Goku and Vegeta, as well as the Dokkan event for Super Saiyan Blue Captain Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta available as well. I haven't actually seen the the metal requirements for these guys, but I assume that. They probably need medals from these events as well, and then the Jiren event is also available um, for the entire duration of the campaign, which, I mean, ends on the 16th it says, which might mean that part 2 starts on the 16th, and I've heard some circulations, but I've heard some rumors that maybe an LR Jiren could come for part 2, but we'll see, we'll see, I don't want to say too much, until, until, you know, until Dokener says something about it, I'm gonna just hold off on any speculation. Now, I will never doubt Dokener again, because this guy just does no wrong, man. This guy just, he's always right. Like, I don't know how he does it. I don't know what kind of connection he has to Bandai, but he's just always right. So if Dokener says something about an LR Jiren, then I'll be like, okay, LR Jiren's coming. But until then, we're gonna hold off. And after that, we have um, a new battlefield, of course. I heard that there were some changes to the typings, but that's pretty much it. Um, should be the same character still as the enemies and uh, we also have the um, story event the the bio Broly story event coming back as well as a couple of new stages added to the rebrian event along with a new free-to-play uh, Kakunsa and Rosie Is that their names Shows you how much I care about these characters, man. But uh, yeah, we got two new free-to-play characters who also get Extreme Z Awakenings in a couple days, as, uh, along with the uh, free-to-play Rubrian. And the EZAs are actually very good. I haven't really tested them out yet, but I've seen some videos, some gameplays, some gameplays, some gameplay, and uh, they look very good. So there's that Extreme Z area for these girls, and also a bunch of Dokkan events just being available. Um, every single day, I think, between July 7th and July 31st, I think that's what it says, because that's usually what the image means. Like, once again, I can't read Japanese, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's what it's saying. And then we have the return of the Extreme Z area for the Kid Vegeta and, and Raditz, as well as the uh, Kid Broly. And of course, that also means that the um, Three Saiyans led by Fate event is coming back, so we can actually farm these guys. And uh, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie event is coming back. And what else? Oh, oh, this is the big one. This is the big one. First 120% lead, first Neo God lead, as some people like to call them, getting their Extreme Sea Awakening. We were, we were just talking about this, and uh, it's happening. So, Super Saiyan 3 Broly is the first one, guys. Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Now, I do wish it would have been someone that, like, was a little bit more hype, in my opinion. You know, like, uh,. Fizz Cooler or one of the Super Saiyan 4s, even though I think they might be saving that for the download celebration, because I feel like the download celebration is going to be a GT theme celebration, and uh, you know, one of the Super Saiyan 4s or both of the Super Saiyan 4s getting easy A's at that time would make the most sense, right? But we got Super Saiyan 3 Broly, he is for sure the one that needed it the most. It was definitely the least usable 120 lead, so. I'm not, I'm not mad at this man, all right? I'm not I'm not gonna complain. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, like as long as they get, give him some defense, right? As opposed to his like, lack, complete, just negative defense, right? On his passive. If they did that, then I'd be okay with this guy. You know, like, I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know how crazy they're really gonna go with the 120 leads, you know what I mean? Like, are they gonna give them 150% mono leader skills? And like how much more damage are they gonna allow them to do? Because like some of these guys still hit really hard, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, you know, Kid Buu hits really hard, even though he needs like his thing is more so key, right? So maybe Kid Buu to give some key, but um anyways, you know what? It's not the video to speculate. All I'm gonna say is I'm excited to see what Super Saiyan 3 Broly ends up being, and then we can use this as a benchmark for how good the other 
120% um, or Neo God EZAs are gonna be. But since we got this started, we can expect Super Saiyan 4s, we can expect, um, you know, Super 17, Cooler, uh, Int Gogeta at some point, Super Saiyan 3, Go Tanks, and so on and so forth to get their EZAs over the course of the next, you know, year or so, right? So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty exciting. I'm stoked. And we, of course, we have the banner, which includes the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And we also have a category summon for, it looks like, it looks like, um, uh, man, what category is this? <laughs> I wish I could read it. I wish I could read it. Um, siblings bond, maybe? It could be siblings bond. Yeah. Because we got, we got, we got, we got, um, Vados and, uh, you know, Goten and Gohan. I'm gonna say siblings bond. I could be wrong though. I could I could look really stupid right now. I don't care, whatever. And lastly, we have the Extreme Z battle for two more Extreme Z awakenings. We got Topo as well as Dispo. And that's gonna be awesome. No details yet for anything. Uh this comes on the 16th, by the way, so I guess it might be for like part two. If there is a part two, most likely a part two. Um, so yeah, no details for really any of these EZAs that we just learned about, like the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and the T Topo and Dispo, and, uh, well, I guess that's it. But yeah, no details for those yet. Once they come, I will keep you guys informed. But that is the Tana Bata celebration, at least part one. And, dude, like, it looks really good. It's a really good celebration. I'll give you guys a look at the... <laughs> the missions as well even though i can't really read them we can get a sticker which is fantastic and then you know you got your wish trips your uh stones some kais actually a lot of stones oh yeah so the, the whole point of tanabata is to collect 77 stones that's like a tradition so yeah 77 stones in total which is pretty awesome like that's a lot <laughs> and uh, oh crap and then login bonus uh Oh, there's no time for login bonus. Interesting. Well, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Wait, did I miss it or something? There usually should be, right? I don't know. Anyways, that is today's news update for JP's Tana Bata Celebration. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for this, uh, for all these events that are coming. There's, there's a lot of stuff. Like, this is actually, like I said, a, a really good celebration, in my opinion. And I'm excited to find out exactly what Super Saiyan 3 Broly can do, find out exactly what Topo and Dispo look like, and uh, find out what Part 2 is. But once again, I'm not going to say anything about that until Dokener makes a post. Alright, so we're waiting for that. We're waiting for that. But that is today's video, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.